If your iPhone says iPhone unavailable or security lockout and you don't remember the passcode, do not panic. In the next few minutes, I will show you exactly why this happens, every real method to unlock it, what happens to your data and how you can get your data back step by step. Watch carefully, missing one step can cost your data. Before we start, quick recommendation. If you are using an iPhone, this screen protector is worth checking out. It's the Polexa Tempered Glass, real 9-edge military grade protection, crystal clear display and smooth touch. The auto alignment box makes installation stupidly easy, no bubbles, no stress. Edge to edge coverage, case friendly and it keeps your screen looking new. So the Amazon link is in the description of the video. Now first, let's understand why your iPhone is locked. Because once you understand this, everything becomes simple. Apple automatically locks your iPhone when the wrong passcode is entered multiple times. This is not a bug, this is Apple's security system protecting your data. Too many wrong attempts, long lock timers, eventually iPhone unavailable, iPhone is disabled, security lockout, lock screen will going to show. Important thing to understand, when this iPhone reaches this screen, the passcode cannot be guessed, bypassed or cracked. There is only one real solution, remove the passcode completely. So what happens to my data? Now this is the question everyone asks, will my data be deleted? Yes, removing the iPhone passcode means erasing the device. But here's the good news, if you have iCloud backup, iTunes backup or even partial data stored, you can recover your data after unlocking. I will show you exactly how later in this video. There are two reliable methods to unlock an iPhone passcode, official Apple's method which is iTunes and the professional software method much easier. I will show you both of the methods so you can choose what fits you best. The first method is iTunes method. So this is Apple's official method. So you simply visit the iTunes.com on your laptop. So download and install the iTunes. After installing the iTunes, open the iTunes and now it's time to connect your phone to the computer. Once you connect your iPhone to the computer, make sure the charging icons appear on the iPhone. Now we have to put the iPhone into the recovery mode. To put the iPhone into the recovery mode, follow these steps on the screen. If you have iPhone 8 and later devices, follow this method. If you have iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, follow this method. If you have other devices, follow this method. So now let's put our iPhone 16 Pro Max into the recovery mode. So. We just simply need to press our volume up button, then volume down button, and then long hold the side button. Now we need to press and hold this button until we show the Apple logo on iPhone. And after that, our iPhone will stuck on the computer screen. So that's the recovery mode. If you still want a detailed guide to put iPhone into the recovery mode, you can search on the YouTube that how to put iPhone 10 into the recovery mode, how to put iPhone 15 into the recovery mode, whatever device you have, how to put iPhone 17 into the recovery mode. It's simple. Or you can also ask chat GPT. Now our iPhone is in the recovery mode and iTunes will going to detect our iPhone. Now it is very simple, we just need to click the restore button. So this will download iOS firmware file and start the process to remove the passcode completely. So it may take time, depends on your internet speed because it will going to download a large firmware file for the iOS device. 
So if the download takes more than 15 minutes and the phone exits the recovery mode, you must repeat the process. You must enter your iPhone into the recovery mode again. So basically why people hate iTunes. Now this is where many people get stuck because sometimes the device not detected, iTunes gives some errors, download failures, recovery loop and that's why many people prefer a simpler and more stable solution. If everything works fine for you with the iTunes, so stick with the iTunes. Wait for it to complete the download and after the download, the iTunes will completely restore your iPhone to the latest iOS version and also completely remove the passcode. Now let me introduce you the professional software which is much easier than iTunes and will not give any error. Unlock using Tenorshare for UK. So this method is much more straightforward, no iTunes errors, no complex steps. It is very simple. You just need to visit this website. All the links are available in the description of this video and download the Tenorshare for UK. Tenorshare for Yuki is very very simple. You just need to connect your iPhone, open the software and select remove iOS lock screen and start the unlocking process. But make sure you put the iPhone into the recovery mode because otherwise the computer will not detect your iPhone. So you must follow each and every step showing in this video. So it will going to download the firmware file. The software will remove the passcode automatically. In a few minutes, your iPhone will be unlocked. So let me tell you something very important. Just like Apple's official method, this will erase the device, but it solves the lock completely. It will remove the passcode completely. One more important thing, after unlocking, you must sign in with the same Apple ID that was previously used. This is Apple's activation lock. No software can bypass this. If it doesn't ask you for the Apple ID while activating your iPhone, so you are good to go. You don't need to do anything. So now let's come back to the data recovery. How to recover data after unlocking your iPhone passcode using iTunes or Tenorshare for Yuki. So now let's talk about what really matters, your data. So you can recover data in three ways. You can restore from iCloud backup, you can restore from iTunes backup, or you can recover your data selectively using the recovery software. Tenorshare Alt Data for iOS devices. If you don't want to restore everything or if you don't have a full backup, you can scan backups and recover specific data like photos, WhatsApp, messages, contacts, notes. This is especially useful when data was deleted earlier. So this is the final advice I'm giving to you. So iPhone passcode lock is not the end. Apple allows recovery. If you follow the correct steps, choose the method that fits your situation and always, always keeps backup enabled. So you can easily recover your data and also you don't need to worry about anything. If this video helped you, save it because you might need it again. And if you want more real practical iPhone solutions, stay connected.